of course, in the Greek letters now, as right. we all know, crazy hurricane season for us. So can we actually retire Delta? So, so it was a Category 4 hurricane, max winds of 130 miles per hour, right? And, and you're probably saying, gosh, you know, what if we have to retire this storm? I mean, this is the only Greek alphabet there is, right? We've yeah. already used up all of our names for the hurricane season. So what if one of these storms, and now we're looking at Delta, what if we need to re retire it? Well, so here's the thing. When it comes to retiring hurricane names, or okay, so names are only retired from a list when the storm is so deadly or costly that using it again would be inappropriate. I always go back to, to storms like Michael or like Katrina, where you just, you, it's just not appropriate to use another storm uh, with that same name. Now, up until this point, we've only used the Greek alphabet one other time, and that was in 2005. So the strongest Greek name on record that we've had was back in 2005, and that was with Beta, when it was a Category 3 with wind speeds of 115 miles per hour. That storm, that, that name, was not retired. Now, Delta, like I mentioned, was a Category 4, it's now a Cat 2, uh, had wind speeds of 130 miles per hour. It's the strongest Greek storm that we've ever had. Again, we've only had to use this list one other year, and that was in 2005. So, we won't retire the name Delta per se. If we need to retire this year's storm Delta, it would go down in the record books as Delta 2020. And that's big if at this point, the World Meteorological Organization will come together and they'll make that determination for if the, it's needed to be retired. But at this point, probably doesn't meet the criteria for retirement. We'll see how, how landfall goes in Louisiana. Hopefully not though. I mean, that's what we hope for. You don't want it to be deadly or costly. Right now it's Category 2 hurricane with wind speeds of 100 miles per hour moving to the northwest at 15 miles per hour. So it's turning to the northwest and it will continue to strengthen as it moves into the northern Gulf of Mexico now. It's some very warm water still for it to strengthen with. Those, those warm waters is the fuel to supply the storm with that, that necessary energy to strengthen. Uh, it's Category 2, the wind field extending out from the center of the storm. The hurricane is not all that big, especially with those hurricane force winds. It's not stretching too far from the center of the storm, which bodes well for the destruction. But certainly looking at a, a lot of watches and warnings in place for Louisiana coasts and in some parts of Mississippi have storm surge watches and warnings as well, where some places could see a 7 to 11 foot storm surge to go along with those hurricane conditions as the storm moves inland. So timing with this is going to be over the next 36 hours or so, looking at it strengthening to a cat three and then weakening over cooler waters to the north. Again, sometime probably Friday afternoon, we could be working with a strong category two making landfall on the southwestern Louisiana coast.